Hey what's up guys and welcome to my second progress video on my solo account. So these are my stats right now. As you can see I got level 43 prayer and I was killing green dragons and I also while I was killing them I got mithril axe. Actually I got three of those so it's gonna help me out wood cutting. I also got mithril spear in case I want to complete that hasta quest which I don't think I will because it's kind of useless unless you have a zamoraki and hasta. But yeah, and I got 43 prayer, it's gonna help me out in quests and just in general, you know, it's always nice to have that protection uh, from melee usually it is. So one thing that I recently started doing is I started growing cats. You can sell cats for 100 death runes if they are grown or overgrown. I think you can still sell overgrown, which is kind of weird because they cannot catch mice anymore, but you can still sell them. And the reason why they buy you uh, why why they buy the cats is because you know to catch the mice but overgrown cannot catch mice so you can trade one cat for 100 death runes and in total i have now 1.3 thousand death runes also i completed a maze i got like 73 death runes and i killed a zami mage while i was doing a clue scroll that i got from green dragons and yeah so that's you know a little bit more death runes for me also the reward was absolute shit like I swear to god, I completed so many clue scrolls and this has to be one of the shittiest reward that I received on my solo account from that clue scroll. I also had to complete watchtower quest. Well, I didn't have to complete it. I could have just, you know, just complete to like a middle or something. But I still completed it for the quest and that awesome magic experience. I am still going to use lore runes and nature runes. So it wasn't like complete shit reward. Still okay, I guess. But it could have been better, something like rune axe or rune pickaxe. Now I got myself my own rune pickaxe for 32,000 gold. But I could have gotten it from clue scroll, so I don't have to spend gold, you know. So a lot of you said that how are you gonna do Nightmare Zone if you need a second person to let you in the party to get good monsters. Well, you can actually just do it solo, you don't need a second person. But you're gonna have to fight monsters that you unlock during the quests. So of course it's not the best case scenario. If you have something like Elverg, the green dragon unlocked, and you have to fight it, you know, you're gonna have a bad time, but I don't have it. I try to unlock the bosses that I'm, I'll am i be willing to fight, and it's decent, I guess. I have one that's kind of annoying from the Shiloh village quest, but yeah. Anyway, I tried it, you know. I have the prayer now. I could do Nightmare Zone. I could just pray flick. I tried it. It kind of works. I guess it's better than mining your own rune essence to actually get it from, from this minigame. But you would need a few prayer potions. Because even if you flick perfectly, you still need to align the monsters, you know. You can't just like flick when four monsters are attacking. You need to like set yourself, you know, in the correct position and only then you can start flicking the prayer. So you either get prayer potions to last longer or you can get more money. So even if you die, you can just enter the dream again and fight, start fighting the bosses again. But it costs 5,000 gold, actually 6,000 gold for a rumble hard. So I can't afford that. I can, but not for like 10 times. 10 times is a lot. That's 60,000. I can't do that, you know. So I think I'm going to get some hair blood up to get my prayer potions and then start doing nightmare zone. But yeah. Also, one thing that I wanted to do is because... I needed level 49 magic to enchant my ruby rings and I couldn't do that so I'm like oh wait I could go to nightmare zone drink a potion and enchant them in the nightmare zone but they did not allow me to do that so yeah anyway that's all for now if you have any suggestions on how I could obtain some items maybe on how to get my magic level up or other stats like cheaply because you know I cannot trade anything uh, please do, please do suggest and that's all for this video and bye.